In this problem, we're told a vector has an x component of minus 25 units and a y component of 40 units. Find the magnitude and direction of the vector. So the first thing we want to do is just draw out what's going on. So imagine this right here is our starting point, and we're going to have an x component of minus 25 units, meaning we're going to go to the left, minus 25 units, and then we're going to go upwards, right? So this is minus, minus 25 units, and then we're going upwards 40, right? Because 40 is positive, meaning we go up, right? If it's negative, it means down or to the left. If it's positive, it means up or to the right. So this is 40 units. Right, so now we know both of these, and so what we're trying to do here is we're solving for two different things in this problem. We're going to be solving for the magnitude, and the magnitude essentially is if you draw it like a triangle, magnitude is going to be the hypotenuse, or this length right here. So you can just call it M or whatever you want to call it. And then the direction is going to be a little bit different. Essentially, it's just the angle, and so I'll show you how that works after we uh, find the magnitude. But let's find the magnitude first. So how do we find the hypotenuse of a triangle given two different sides? So the way you do that is by using the Pythagorean theorem which is a squared plus b squared equals c squared. So this is the formula you can use if you're given a and b, which are basically the x and y components. Right, so this is a and b, and c is essentially the hypotenuse. Right, so if we have a and b, c is the only variable left, meaning we can just solve for it. Right, and so that's exactly what we're going to do. So if you square both sides to get rid of this, right, that's going to get rid of that, and you're just going to get, you're going to get c is equal to the square root of a squared plus b squared. Right, and so we know both of these. c is going to be equal to the square root of a, which is minus 25, squared plus b right which is 40 squared so c equals if you go ahead and do this right so square root of minus 25 squared plus 40 squared so when you do this you're going to get 47.1699 which is going to be about 47.2 and then they don't really specify the units just 47.2 you can just put units so this is going to be the magnitude, or C, however you want to denote it. This is the first part. And so now what we want to do is find the direction of the vector. So this is 47.2 units. And so when they, when they say the direction, essentially what they're talking about in this case is if you imagine it like this, right? So here's our x, y plane. They're trying to find this angle right here, right? Because if you tell them you go minus 25, 40, and then we want the angle from the beginning, right? So we're trying to find this angle right here, right? But how do we do that? So the easiest way to do it, right? is by using um, arc tangent function. So we know the arc tangent of, right? So if you take the arc tangent of y over x, right? That's gonna be equal to theta. And so theta in this case is just this angle right here, right? But if we know this angle, we can solve for this angle right here, right? And so the reason this is usually if you use the arc tangent of theta, it works, but it only works on this side of the graph. So if you have a triangle like this or like this, but if it's on the other side, it's just gonna give you this. So what you have to do is subtract it from 180 essentially. So if you do the arc tangent of y over x, right, which is essentially arc tangent of y over x, which y is um, 40, right, over x, which is minus 25, right, you have to include the negative sign there. So if you do the arc tangent of 40 divided by minus 25, right, and when you do this, you're going to get minus 57.99, which is basically minus 58, right, so minus 58 degrees. So that's this length right here, right? So it's negative, but reality it's just the positive, right? It's the magnitude of this. So this is 58 degrees. And if we want to find the full thing, right, we know this whole angle is 180. So if we subtract this part, it's going to give us the rest, which is what we want. So you just do 180 minus 58. So 180 minus 58 is about, is just 122 degrees. So this angle right here is 122 degrees, which is essentially the mag, or the direction, sorry. So it's just going to be 122 degrees is your direction. And then the magnitude is just 47.2 units. But yeah, so this, these right here are going to be your answers, and hopefully you found this useful.